What's up? My name is Hemi Dresden Ikufar and welcome to Gameology Conversations. In this episode, we speak with the guy who made you jump from rooftop to rooftop, run on walls to avoid traps and rewind time for your love. He's one of the kindest game developers I've ever seen. He's the genius, the smart, the passionate creative director of Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And right now, he works at his own studio called Panache Digital Games. And their next game, I think, is going to change the way we play video games. It's the biggest adventure of all time. It's brave. It's going to talk about humanity from the very beginning. It's called ancestors humankind odyssey and the man we have as our guest today is no one but the amazing patrice desolate patrice yes how are you patrice uh, good, good, good. You? It's thank you so much. It's amazing talking to you, man. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, my pleasure. Yeah, no, it's no, absolutely no great. Man. Thank you. So let's start it. Uh, yeah. y- you know, Patrice, you're a very inspiring person. Not only you make great and different games, but your personality and decisions you make in life are really inspiring too. You know, I was talking with Ken Levine, creator of Bioshock, and I was telling him how uh, how Bioshock reminded me of books I was reading as a child. You know, Orville and stuff. And I can't say the same to you. My dad had this book called Hassan Sabah, The Lord of Alamut, and it was a very long, huge book. And I always wanted to read, and finally I read it, and uh, it, it was absolutely amazing. I fell in love with that idea of Hashashin and their sec- secret society. So after that, I bought uh, every book about them, and the Assassin's Creed came out. Boy, I was excited about it, because it kept everything interesting about Assassin's. And after that, I wanted to know more about the people behind the game, and I always wanted to know more about you. So it's great to finally speak to you and hear it all from yourself. So please tell us about your background, childhood, and how did you end up being the inspiring Patrice Desley you are now? Okay, well, uh, you want me to uh, make a summary of 42 uh, years <laughs> of my life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, wanted, uh, I want you to go fully ancestor on this. <laughs> okay, from exactly. The beginning. <laughs> Uh, well, well, well. Thank you first for the uh, the kind words. Uh, uh, all I all I do in my life is just uh, go through my day and and try to be as as honest as possible. Yeah, I think that's the main uh, the main thing I got in me is to uh, is to eventually uh, uh, touch people with uh, with with what I do yeah. and with the team I have to do it. Uh-huh. Uh, assassin, just to come back uh, to go back at it. Uh, yes, it was a. Uh, I wanted to touch on the myth, huh? on the myth of uh, of the uh, of the assassins, and and even the word. It's it's funny how uh, we use that word, but it, it comes from from them from uh, almost a thousand years ago. Yeah, and that and and that the word now uh, uh, determine uh, something really uh, specific. But I wanted to tell the story of of people. At yeah. the end of the day, I remember uh, telling my team that uh, they should be always uh, uh, working well and hard. Because uh, uh, down the line, there were people who were living and they had real life and, and, and families and, uh, and, and everyday struggle, right? The assassin yeah. from back then. And so um, I, I wanted to tell the, 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 their story and it, what we were making was uh, bigger than just a game. And it's something that uh, also I, I use a, a lot that, yes, we're making video games. But uh, down the line, it's it's a, a lot more than that. We we touch people from uh, everywhere in the world, and even like in, in Iran. So it's yeah. it's quite uh, uh, it's quite special for me uh, being uh, who I am, right? I I'm, I I j- always feel like I'm just a little boy from from Quebec, and 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 that I can touch people from all over the world with what I'm I'm doing. It's it's quite special, and I'm I'm really blessed to. Uh, to uh, to have the, the 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 luxury and the chance to do a, a, a job that I love, and, and that at the end of the, uh, of the line there's there's somebody in, in their living room in their office who uh, enjoy what uh, that I came up with, yeah. And so uh, yes, yeah, so in my background, yes, yeah, I started this year. It's my twentieth 
year in the in the video game uh, uh, business. Wow! Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I started in '97. Yeah. At Ubisoft uh, Montreal, uh, I was uh, I was in my, in, a, uh, in a year off uh, school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I studied in, in movie study uh, at the University of Montreal, yeah. and uh, I wanted to make movies. Yeah. Uh, I was doing a lot of uh, improv uh, theater. I was writing some some uh, uh, scripts with yeah. friends, uh, shooting uh, uh, films in the weekend. Uh, before before having a camera in our, in our pockets, we you know we would like uh, need a, a big camera, so yeah. it was some. We did the. Uh, we rented some cameras, or one other guy had one, and then and then on the weekend we would do uh, little movies. Uh -huh. And Ubisoft arrived in '97, and so I uh, I sent my uh, my resume, and they 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 hired me because I I think I'm a good salesman, <laughs> <laughs> and I could I can sell myself. Yeah. And so I, I invented uh, some knowledge in in game design. Yeah. So, uh, and after an hour of, of discussion, uh, I had a job and so that, that, that was three years ago. And uh, when the, I started, I, I had no clue how to make a video games and I'm quite not sure if I, I do know how to make a video game, <laughs> how to make my games, oh. but in, I don't think I'm a, I'm a generalist in, in, in game design. Yeah. Uh, I have, I, I like, I love to do third person. It's yeah. really my, my thing. Sometimes people ask me if I want to do a first person uh, or, or uh, another type of games, and I'm like, I'm not sure. I, I like the movement. Oh. I like uh, uh, the movement of a character. I like to see it, and I feel like it's easier, at, at least for me, uh -huh. it's easier to transfer myself into that character than in first person. Yeah, It's a personal thing, but, uh, and so I like movement. I like to interact with the 3D world when I when I make a game. That's really what I... What, what inspires me in, in, in game design. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Uh -huh. Still. Yeah. Still. And uh, we're doing, yes, ancestors. Uh, I got something with, with, with history and past and it became my, uh, my signature. Huh? I'm, the, uh, I'm the guy who makes an action adventure game in history uh, setting. Yeah. And so what, 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 what exactly fascinates you about history? I feel like you right now, as a human being on this planet, uh, we are mutants, uh -huh. and that uh, the way we live is totally disconnected with uh, who we are, which is uh, basically animals and uh, yeah, in in the ecology system that we totally uh, uh, fucked up. Uh -huh. So uh, <laughs> we're 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 so fast. We're all you know. We feel like uh, what we're living is really, really important, and and that and and, and so we're disconnected a, a lot with history. Yeah. And that we go, we we turn around and we look back. Uh, it's a, it's almost a fantasy world for us. Yeah. And so it it, it there's a lot of, of of stories to be to be written and and, and to be told with yeah. with our history. For me. Uh, yeah, the past is, is as much uh, a fantasy than Final Fantasy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so, yes. so, are you interested in future as well? Uh, a little bit. If you if you look and you analyze well uh, uh, Assassin's Creed with the Animus and with uh, what we call the present is in fact the future somehow. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. It's not something. Uh, so, so yes, I, I'm I'm into science. Fiction, uh, as as I would say, uh, any boy uh, uh, was when they, you know, when, when you're a child. And, and but but right now it's my signature. So when I started a new studio, I, I needed to find a subject that would fit the uh, history, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and and so ancestors came in. Uh -huh. because, uh, you know, when we were really uh, the beginning of life on this planet, uh, uh -huh. there, there, there were no technology, so it. it, it Easier for a new studio to build a, a game world around uh, uh, a place without technology and without cities and without civilization. The civilization takes a lot more to, uh, to design and, and and build yeah. than, than well than organic uh, features. Yeah. Now I know that organic is as much tough than 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 architecture. I would say. Yeah. But uh, but subject matter always also uh, fascinating.
the caveman uh, uh, history is something uh, that I remember when I was like four or five, uh, already being uh, obsessed a bit with uh, with history uh, of that time period. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, but uh, uh, yes, it's about it's about the fantasy of the past, yeah. basically. The way we live back then is totally different than the way we live now, uh-huh. and so it's something I want. To, and also, I guess uh, coming from where I come from, we like uh, history here in, in Quebec in general. I feel yeah. like everyone, but the, because we 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 have ancestors coming from France, yeah. and, and it's something that we we, we like to, to follow. I remember my mom worked in a in a French court. Uh-huh. Close Montreal when I was a kid, and so I would go there uh, and, and see an uh, old uh, building. And so, it, yeah, in North America and Quebec, history is still around us, yeah. or, or we kind of like one of the first uh, uh, settlers. And so, uh, history is, is part of our everyday life, which may be not the case in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or, or at least in Vegas, it's, it's false history. Here it's uh, real. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, and third person is, uh, yeah, to come back at, at that, also third yeah. person uh, for me is, 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 is a good connection with my, uh, my studies. Yeah. Because camera is important. Yeah. Right? How you, 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 you frame the character is important. Exactly. Just like in movies. So I guess uh, I remember in Sense of Time, there was a lot of work going on about, about the camera and giving good shots yeah. when, you, when you play the game. So... That's why I, I guess also I like uh, uh, third person more than first or, or RTSs or, or uh, isometric. But you love those games, right? As oh, I play them to all. play them. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a gamer. I'm a, a, I'm a, I'm a dad, <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dad, a gamer dad. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I cannot. Uh, yeah, it's my hobby. Yeah, it's so a cool I'm dad. dad. And I play games, and yeah. I play uh, all sorts of games. Yeah. And so, uh, and and yeah, I have two daughters, and I have to. Uh, Sometimes we have to fight for the for the TV screen <laughs> or for the Xbox. Or, or <laughs> and so, uh, yes, we we do play a lot. The have they played family. your games? Uh, not yet, or not a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, eventually, I guess. I guess they will have to. Yeah. But uh, I, you know, they're they're nine and seven. Oh. And so uh, I still don't believe that I, I made a game for adult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Assassin's Creed is for adult and, and not for, for, for kids. So I guess they're not ready, but eventually they will. Yeah. And sense of time, I don't I don't I don't remember if I I think I showed them. Uh-huh. I don't think they played them. But oh. they should that eh? they should. Yeah. It's quite it's, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, it's pretty cool. They could say, Oh, I played my dad's game, right? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of, of, of children who can say that. Yeah. So I guess eventually they will have to stop playing uh, Minecraft. <laughs> or right now it's it's uh, they they okay. play they play Pokemon on their uh, 3ds. Oh. This is their big uh, and they not only play Pokemon, they 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 always are talking about oh. Pokemon. <laughs> Drives me nuts. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's great. Uh, man, in, in one of your interviews, you mentioned this famous phrase from Assassin's Creed series, nothing is true, everything is permitted. And that is not actually just, you, you mentioned that it's not just uh, a saying, but you believe it in yourself and you try to have it in your mind in life. I really want to know yeah. more about that because, again, your personality is very interesting to me. First of all, you are always energetic and positive and you see life itself with so much interest. I can say that because it's, uh, it's, it's always obvious in your games and not just life, but you're interested in the whole history of mankind. So please tell us about your point of view about life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing is true. Everything is, is, is uh, permitted is my motto in, in general. I know it, it comes from uh, the uh, Ismailians uh, group. Yeah. Uh, so I read I, the I didn't, Yeah, I didn't invent it. But, yeah. and, but the, when I... I understood it in my own personal point of view. Yeah. I said, yes, it's pretty much how I would like my life to, to be lived, which is like, there is no real way of living. We, yeah. uh, the, this, there's as many way of living as there are individuals. 
And, and so my book is my own personal, uh, you know, uh, uh, way of seeing life. And so I can do what the hell I want, yeah. basically. This is how I see it. As long as I, I'm not mean, as long as I don't uh, actually, you know, don't do to uh, to others what exactly. the well, yeah, you, you live by the golden rule and 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 you're good. That's basically and and then uh, I feel like life's too short to be uh, to be pissed. Sure. Basically, so yes, I try to be positive, but there is so, sometimes I'm not. You have uh -huh. to. Uh, sometimes I, I get uh, I get angry. <laughs> 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 it's just that uh, it doesn't last long. Yeah. And so, uh, but I'm 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 quite normal, by the way, right? I, yeah. I have my little routine, and and in the morning I need a lot of coffee before I can actually. Uh, you're lucky. You're lucky right now because here it's in, in it's morning. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so you had your uh, coffee. <laughs> yeah, I had the uh, mini because uh, on Wednesday night I play uh, I play hockey. Oh. I play, yeah. and so in the morning, uh, on the Thursday morning, it's a bit uh, tougher for me because I play at night, and yeah. so before I can go to bed, it takes me a while yeah. before I can actually fall asleep. Uh -huh. And so uh, Thursday morning, in general, is my worst morning uh, of them all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I just feel like uh, yeah, we. I'm lucky. I'm I make video games, so yeah, uh, and I I travel the world and I speak with uh, interesting people like you uh, from all over the place and and I feel so lucky. I come from a little people of of you know of French uh, speaking uh, uh, Canadian. Yeah. And so we're only uh, six and a half million of us. Uh -huh. And I've, I feel so lucky to 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 be talking to the entire world in, in with a pretty neat medium that's called video game making. Yeah. And. And, and that uh, yes, I, I I have to smile. <laughs> I have no, I have to. Somehow I'm like I'm one of the uh, out of the seven billion people on this planet. I'm one of the lucky few. Yeah. And so uh, and then it's video game. It's all about pleasure at the end of the day. Yeah. My role is to make sure that people get out of their of their shitty lives somehow. Yeah. And they go to fantasy world and they become a hero and they become bigger than than, than themselves. And I use that to also say, you look, it's not only in the video game world that you can be that hero, right? Assassin's Creed is a bit that. Yeah. It's a bit not everything is permitted in your everyday life. You can yeah. be a bit more and you can change the world around you. Exactly. And, and so, yeah, so that's what I do. So that's why I'm always positive somehow is that I'm, I do video game, man. Yeah. It's cool. Exactly. And thanks for being inspirational, man. And uh, we have a very long well, and... I just want. I just yeah. on this. I don't try to be inspirational. And by the way, I'm just. I'm just me. Mm. And so uh, uh, I, I. I guess it's uh, being me. It's, yeah. it's. It's kind of like the inspiration for others. Oh, I can be myself. Yes, just yeah. be yourself. Yeah. There's no. Yeah. Uh, first, first is people won't like you. Whatever you do. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you, you. 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 You create amazing experiences and 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 who doesn't want to be in that place to make something amazing who people enjoy actually and you're absolutely yeah, perfect that, now that, yeah but that can be done uh, even if you're uh, uh, if, even if you work in an hospital yeah. i mean you have, whatever you do in life try to be the best at it and, exactly. and people just when they spend five minutes with you if they enjoy it you won yeah. So me, I do uh, people, stuff that people will spend hours with it. Yeah. So I make it as, as good as possible. And when I talk with people, I say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. And uh, uh, let's have a, a good uh, uh, half an hour of discussion. And, yeah. and then people say, oh, yeah, that cool. Uh, that dude is cool. So, yeah, so exactly. That's, that's, that's my goal in life. Yeah. But I, I'm telling you, there is mornings, there is night that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a jerk. You have <laughs> to know that. <laughs> Who isn't? Uh, yeah, so, exactly. <laughs> maybe, yeah. yeah. Uh, we we have a very long and rich history in Iran, and we have uh, tried to make games with historical elements of Iran and Persia. But honestly, as a result, there is no successful game yet. And what do you think are the qualifications of a good historical game? Uh, do your arm work, really? Yeah. Right. I, I mean, well, history is a subject, mm -hmm. so it's your subject. Know your subject, yeah. and then. But you have to know how to make games. Yeah. 
And that's the most important thing I, I feel like. You yeah. Know how to make games and then whatever the subject. So there is no real good way of making historical games. There's yeah. a good way of making games. I don't know if it's, I'm clear, but it's like they're, they're making games is a, yeah, yeah, a I craft. It. Yeah. And so whatever the subject, then it'll fit. But in but your games, it, history is more exciting. You know, we want to know more about it. It's just not a narrative. For some, it's people, for some people, some people oh. they like the the present day. That's the GTA guys. Yeah. Uh, some people like the future. This is the, the the Star Wars guys. Yeah. And there is history buff. That's us, I guess. Yeah. And so, um, and but see, but Assassin's Creed. It was important to put a little bit of present day and a little yeah. bit of sci-fi, so people can could be up. Uh huh. But then they understood because we did our homework. They, yeah. they, they, they discovered history. Yeah. Right? There's a lot of people, who write, uh, fans, who are writing me about, oh, I didn't know what to do in life, and I discovered history through uh, Assassin's Creed, and now I'm doing wow. a history major and blah, blah, blah. Wow. So, yeah, there are some people like, and I guess it's more in Americans somehow that, that they discover that, oh, history is way bigger than our country and our own history. Yeah. And so, they, they, they it, it opened their mind and I feel also as a as an artist opening up minds is a bit also my job yeah. it, I'm not saying my mind is so open but a little bit more than others I guess yeah and so uh, it's a bit my job to push people and say hey there's something else out there than then our yeah yeah everyday life that we're a bit stuck with all of us whatever uh, our culture yeah. Great. Now, uh, Prince of Persia and Assassin's Creed were both uh, inspired by Middle Eastern stories. What inspired you the most about this area of the globe and this particular culture? It's 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 quite. Uh, I, I was thinking and before talking with you, so it's true that I made like two big games about the uh, region of the yeah. world that at first never been to, never <laughs> oh, been to. Seriously. Iran, uh, not really. I've been once in Israel uh, oh. because I was invited to do uh, eventually some business that didn't work out. Oh. Uh, so uh, and that was after Assassin's Creed uh, One, which is weird. That was like three years ago that I went there. Oh. Uh, and, and and so no 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 no, it's weird. Like first Prince of Persia is because Ubisoft bought uh, the Prince of Persia license yeah. from 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 Brotherbound when they got uh, uh, when they went bankrupt. And uh, I, I ended up on this project, and then I discovered because I remember having a because I studied in literature also, uh -huh. and so I remember having read back in college uh, uh, the Thousand and One Nights uh, books, wow. and some also Arabic uh, po poetry, like poem from and and so and and this this richness of the 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 the, the, the time of the sultans, I felt like oh it's yeah. it's, it's a pretty it's a, it's a pretty neat subject at the end of the day. Yeah. And, and also Prince of Persia was a good established license. And and, and so I, I, I went to see a presentation of the team because I was doing something else. Uh -huh. uh, of the very, like, month and a half in, I went to see a presentation of that team and, and said, oh, I want to join. And I think I can, I can give the... My uh, good good ideas and good design for for this game. Yeah, and I came with the, the rewind uh, two months afterwards, right? Wow! And the rewind changed everything with with sense of time with yeah. with Prince of Persia. And but the 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 notion of of the Thousand and One Nights, where there's always someone telling the story to someone else. Yeah. This is like this: the princess telling the story because she doesn't want to die, and there's always a new story, and that 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 was pretty neat. And that's basically sense of time. I would say the the Persian influence is more the book than the culture per se. Uh -huh. It's the structure and and the way someone tells a story to somebody else. Yeah, and then and it's a rich history again, and for the Crusades uh, and for Assassin's Creed is just this like. I was supposed to do another Prince of Persia game, oh. and um, 
in 2004, when, when we started the, this Prince of Persia, I just finished Sons of Time, and a prince, basically, is not, is not an action character. Yeah. It's somebody who waits that, until dad died so he can take his place. Yeah. That's basically what prince do, except waving to the crowd and, you know, a prince doesn't do much. And so I had a hard time coming up with a new story to tell this prince to move. <laughs> so uh, I remember uh, my, again, uh, some some reading I've uh, done in college about the assassins. I think, I think I say, you were inspired by the book called uh, a, secret, uh, a Secret History of Sec- a History of Secret Societies, right? Exactly. It I'm reading it right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the first story was about the assassin. Yeah, first the, chapter. The myth, the old of, exactly. Old Man of the Mountain. Yeah, exactly. And I said, oh, if you're an assassin, if you're number two of yeah. this assassin organization, it would be the Prince of Persia in Persia. So it's it started like that. Yeah. And, and, and so, and that, that's the reason why we have assassins. Assassin is me not being a good employee. Yeah. Instead of doing what I was told, I did something else. <laughs> Nothing is true. Everything is permitted again. <laughs> exactly. So uh, when uh, when you started uh, Panache and when you left Ubisoft, I was working at a studio here, and I was constantly constantly thinking about uh, getting out of getting out of there and start my own indie studio. But you know, that's very hard and a scary decision because you know you you you're working for someone else and you're getting paid every month and your responsibility your responsibility is not that high. But when you're indie, it's completely different. And I remember I was constantly looking up to you, and I was like, this guy is amazing. He's leaving Ubisoft to start his own thing, and. Uh, and that decision made me do the same. I started a studio with my friends called Try Again, and boy, I'm so happy I did that. So, so thanks for uh, being inspirational again for all of us here. And that makes me, yeah, that makes me want to ask you about your experience. What is the difference be- between being an indie company now and uh, instead of working in a big studio for other people? And what do you suggest for people who wants to do the same? Yeah, you, you said it. It's it's about not working for other people. Yeah, <laughs> that's the main thing, right? Me, my 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 biggest uh, struggle with being in a big organization is that I was I was the guy at the end or, or in the middle also, but I was a guy doing interviews like we're doing right now. Oh, yeah, and I had to 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 come up with the political lines, the 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 the. The thing that I was supposed to say, then then the thing I wanted to say most yeah. of the time, uh-huh. and and I would receive comments and whatnot, and and there was decision that would made would be made by other people than me, because this is it's all about being you know do it's all about compromising yeah. when you're in a big organization somehow, and as my role of creative director, it's 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 tough to. To live by decision of others and then being in front of the camera and and or or, or Skype and yeah. tell oh no it's a, this is what I wanted even though this is not what you wanted yeah. and so I said oh, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a really good uh, liar so, uh, <laughs> so I I cannot do it anymore and then and then also I realized that uh, when you do a really big franchise yeah uh, you also make money for other people uh-huh. and they. Really care about you, <laughs> and so I said, enough. I'm I'm leaving, and if I do another Assassin's Creed, at least uh, it'll be uh, for 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 me and my guys, yeah. and so and and also for Quebec and for my people in Montreal. But to finish about the studio, me I had I had the the chance also to have a good portfolio. Yeah, and so it took a while before I decided to to leave. Uh, my girlfriend told me I was not happy anymore at UB. She made me realize that, and I said okay. Wow. And so, uh, and now it's been seven years since I left Ubisoft. Uh-huh. I left in 2010, and uh, and now I'm a, we're we're 24 here at Panache. We're about to uh, hire more, and we'll uh-huh. be around 30 by the end of the year, and then we'll we'll stay at 30 for as long as we can. Yeah, and that, at that I feel 30 per, uh, people in a studio is a good size. Yeah, where it's not. Four guys uh, in a garage, but uh, it's not 200 people plus. You know, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, we were like uh, almost 800 people wow. working on it. So 
Yeah, and so here we know everyone, we know each other pretty well, we, everybody uh, has got his role uh, in order to make a great game, and, uh, and we're having a blast right now. Wow, and so it was great. one of the best, the best decision I made in my life, that and saying yes to a girl. Uh, <laughs> said, yeah. The idea came from that girl. <laughs> yeah? My, the idea came from? Uh, from uh, your wife, to go, I don't know, yeah, India yeah, out of... <laughs> Yeah, so that was the only yeah, Kalim, best decision. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she's the one that uh, whatever I do, I do. Uh, she's there, and uh, now we, we're, we're a good team. We're yeah. good. Great, great. Now, uh, ancestors, humankind, Odyssey is something really different and revolutionary. I, I can't wait for that game, man. How is the process creating such a massive game with a small team? And overall, how do you see the future of Panache? Uh, yes, I know it's a big subject matter, yeah. and uh, the way we approach it is that uh, it's like Russian dolls. You, you make the little, the smallest dolls first, and then you grow on top of it. Yeah. So it's really an iterative process. And the beauty of humankind, uh, Odyssey, the humankind Odyssey, is that it is an evolution process also. So we build. You know, the, the, the narrative of the game and the narrative of the studio is basically uh, tie in together. Yeah. So uh, at first we only had one character in, the, in, in an environment, which was the jungle. Yeah. And now we have more than one and there's more than the jungle. And then so and, and, and the evolution of the main character is it, it follows what we can build with the team. Yeah. And so... Uh, and it's it's pretty neat right now. I mean, we have a, around uh, five six hours worth of, of, of gameplay. Wow, great! Right. And, and it's systems talking to each other more and more. There's less and less narrative, I would say, that we first anticipated. Uh -huh. But it's great because now the narrative is being built by the players and not by us uh -huh. here. So you create your own story of your own humankind odyssey somehow. And uh, it's all based on, on science. Yeah. But, and we give you a, a toy to play with. And you live the Odyssey the way you want to live it. Wow. And, and it's great. And, uh, you know, we're, we're 24. So we're not like, there's, there's still a good team and they're all seniors. Most of them, I would say, not, not all of them, but most of them are seniors. They ship, they ship AAA games before. Yeah. We're, we're using Unreal 4 as, an, as, wow. as our tool and engine. And, and, and right now, like I said, yeah, five to six hours. And mm -hmm. we're of good gameplay. And we're pretty confident that we'll create another 10 by the end of the year. And we hope to have even more. Because, again, it's systems that are, that are talking to each other. Yeah. And so it depends on how you play. Wow. And there's no real ending to it all. Wow. It's toy, so, and you discovered Africa uh, five million years ago. Wow. So you're covering, uh, covering uh, many difference too. I mean, uh, uh, along with history, you go to different countries too, right? Uh, not right now. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, it's, it's focused on Africa a yeah. uh, million years ago. Oh. It's a really, really, that's, that's what we call right now volume, volume one. It's oh. really based on, yeah, the very beginning. And we'll see uh, how many volumes we make at uh -huh. the end of the cycle. But we'll, we'll start with one, which is, like I said, that, that 15 hours worth of, of, of your time. Yeah. Could it go Gameplay. into the future, maybe? Maybe 20 years no. later? No, no, no. <laughs> that would be another game. I, uh -huh. I, my future, eventually I'll make a, a, a real science fiction game, I feel. Uh -huh. And, and that that will be a standalone. And eventually, I'll make a uh, uh, sixteen sixty six Amsterdam also. Wow, that's like, a, a great game too. Yeah, that's my game about you know the devil in us. Oh. That that we're all good guys, but sometimes we're not. Yeah. And how come? How come sometimes we're not? What is this like? And that's a pretty. Wow. Oh, uh, uh, international subject matter also in our yeah. culture the devil symbol is there and so uh, that's that I, I want to attack that and that eventually we'll, we'll make it here at Panache 
Yeah, great, man. So, uh, last question. What was the last inspiring game you've played and why was it insp inspirational? Oh. So many. Uh, right now I'm playing Horizon. Wow. On my PS4. Yeah. Uh, but uh, other than that, I play Civilization wow. 6 every day. That's my... <laughs> No, no, I'm, that's my, that's my, uh, that's my coke. Personal, <laughs> personal drug is civilization. Uh, uh, I play a lot of sports games, but my last uh, real, like, uh, whoa, that's special right now. It's it's really Horizon. Oh. Uh, it's really classical. Uh -huh. I don't know. I I, I dig it yeah. a lot in, in the third person. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, but so many somehow like uh, oh and, and last week I played everything oh. on, on the PS4 uh, and and everything <laughs> is that really really like uh, weird you, you know what it is or, no no or, no I haven't heard I think I thought check it out yeah. check everything it's a game about uh, I, I'm not quite sure if it's a game uh -huh. It's kind of an experience. Yeah, uh, it's a uh, it's an interactive experience where you take control of everything. Wow! And and you can go into like from the smallest thing, which is an atom, to the the wow. biggest thing, everything. And yeah. it's called everything. And yeah. That was really inspirational. But there is no real gameplay in it, uh -huh. except taking control over the stuff. But it's it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Great, great. Now, uh, Patrice, thank you very much for being awesome, for creating exciting experiences, for making history so much interesting, and th thanks for daring to do things people are not expecting, but they love them so much. I wish you and the amazing people at Bana Panache best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. It's been yeah. a pleasure. And yeah. uh, I hope you enjoy our, our, our next game uh, uh, really soon. We're working on it really hard, at least. Yeah. I can't wait for that, man. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. coming. It's coming. <laughs> so, right, is there any release date, probably? No, and I'm not telling you even if there was one. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> great, great. Okay, but, thank you. But very much. you'll see. Oh, you'll, you'll see something pretty soon. Oh, probably that I can E3, tell right? Okay? Maybe before. <laughs> oh my god. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. Have a good day, man. Have a good night. You too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.